Bob, it looks like you're taking on quite a challenge smoothing a piece of bird's eye maple with a hand plane. Wouldn't uh, you be tempted like a lot of people to take a belt sander? Well, actually, yeah, Bruce. However, you're going to get your best surface with a hand plane, especially on a piece of wood like this. So these are the four what I would consider your shop essentials. Uh, there are other planes that will perform a function a little bit better, but these will pretty much do everything you need. And then you can always add to your uh, repertoire as you see fit. This is our primary bevel. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a secondary bevel. And we're going to polish just the leading edge, mm -hmm. the part that actually contacts the wood. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply 80% of the downward pressure to these, this finger and this finger. I'm working on just that corner. So take your time, go slow, and just be careful. And just keep checking to make sure that you're keeping it square. And uh, it's a pretty simple process. It doesn't take a long time to get pretty good at it. Put your lever cap in. And this needs to be just tight enough to hold the iron, but not so tight that you can't make any adjustments. And then with your lateral adjustment lever right here, underneath the iron, you can move it one side or the other. So what I'm going to show you now is how to use this new tool, this rabbiting block plane. And I can take a full width cut. I'll back that off and take a lighter one if I need to. Obviously, if I was spitting this, I take one pass and check it, take another pass and check it. Rob, do you have any special tips on the block plane? Yeah, yeah, certainly, Bruce. This is a really useful tool. It really gives you a nice, clean, pretty hard to get end grain any better than that. Now when we get towards the end, remember we're going to put a lot of downward pressure on this back hand so that we don't drop off and then finish off the shaving. You master these four planes and you're going to take your woodwork to the next level.